In the kingdom of God, we are not permitted to complain. We are not permitted to murmur. Murmuring and complaining is not allowed in the kingdom. It hinders us from assessing what God the Lord has provided for us. We can learn from the children of Israel as a result of their experience. Many of them that murmured, many of them that complained, many of them that are never grateful, they did not see anything whatsoever that the Lord did for them in the past, right from the land of Egypt on their way to promised land. Every time they need something, they always rebel, complaining and murmuring. And what was the result? They were destroyed by the destroyer. A Christian who is not living a life of gratitude is indirectly exposing his life or a life to attack of the adversaries. Don't give room to that as a Christian. Don't give room to that as a Christian. Giving thanks has nothing to do with how you feel. It is an instruction you comply with. God wouldn't have said to you and I to always give thanks in everything if he has not given us the ability to do so. Every of God's instruction, God will not tell you what he has not given you the ability to do. So when he tells you and I, in Christ Jesus, he said, in everything, give thanks. For this is the perfect will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Before that word was communicated, God already put in you and I the ability to comply, ability to live by that word. So it's time for us to exercise ourselves in what the word of God says. If you will take your time to study the world, you will discover that men and women in the Bible that did exploits, they were people who lived by this principle. You can't do exploits in life beyond the word of God that you live by. The book of Daniel 11 tells us, those who know their Lord thy God, they shall be strong and they will do exploits. Men and women in the, in, the, in the Old Testament and New Testament that did exploit, that experienced supernatural intervention, they were people who cultivated this attitude and live by it and practice it even in the face of seemingly impossible situations. Instead of them complaining and murmuring, they have reasons to give thanks unto God. Hallelujah. So attitude of praise, attitude of thanksgiving is something we must cultivate and train ourselves to live by. If you look at Abraham, for example, after he had an encounter with God, he was an old man with his wife Sarah, already past the age of menopause. God said to this man, this great prophet, and the Lord said to him, I will give you your own child. And the Bible tells us something which I want us to see in the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 19 says, And be not weak in faith. Talking about Abraham. And be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old. The Bible says, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 4 from verse 19. Being not weak in faith, New King James says, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about 100 years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He tells you something that his body, his feelings, they were contrary to his expectation. But instead of him complaining, instead of him murmuring, the Bible says, he was giving glory to God. Why have you been complaining? What have you been considering? Praise the Lord. Instead of considering the dictates of the five senses, consider what God already said about the situation. Then you will know 
you will have reason to give thanks unto the Lord. That situation is not closed. God, your heavenly father, is walking behind the scene. The Bible talks about Jesus Christ, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their sins against them. When I look at that scripture, I was amazed at God's strategy. The people hanging Jesus on the cross thought they were killing Jesus, but they did not know that God was behind the scene because he has a goal. So what you consider a situation that looks impossible, understand that your heavenly father is behind the scene working out the best in your favor. And he said that the, uh, at the end of it all, all things will turn around for your good. Take note of that. Think about that. And give thanks unto the Lord. Because your case is not closed. The Bible says, talking about Abraham, be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. When he was about 100 years old, he considered not his own body now dead, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. Think about it. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. He's telling you something. When we engage in murmuring and unthankfulness, it's an expression of unbelief. Well, you complain. Somebody said, well, I've been asking about that and I don't know where God is. What is but... God said we should just give thanks. Okay, I'm giving thanks. Giving thanks and gratitude has to come from your heart. Heart seated. Because that is where God looks into. The Bible says, being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old. It was neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith giving glory to God. When you find a man of gratitude, you will find a man of, gr of strong faith. When you find a man that is full of thanksgiving, you will find a man of strong faith. And the only way we receive from the Lord is by exercising our faith. Praise the living Jesus. Another example the Bible shows us was the man called David. Hallelujah. David was another man who lived this life mainly giving thanks unto God, giving glory to God, expressing his gratitude before the Lord. Hallelujah. He said in the book of Psalms 103, he said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Look at the way he exercised his attitude of gratitude. He started counting the things that the Lord did for him. He did not forget. When you listen to people that complain, they don't have anything to remember. All they will keep talking about are the things that God has not done. Don't be that kind of Christian. Change your attitude. David said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Take time to sit down and remember. Recollect the things that the Lord did for you. The things that God made happen for you before you prayed. He said, before you call, I will answer. While you are here thinking, I will respond to you. Remember some of those things that the Spirit of God did in your life. What you are not qualified for, God made it happen for you. When people thought that you have gotten to the end of the road, God caused you to rise again. Remember, don't forget. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all our iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Who crowns your year with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? People of God, this was a man who never lost a battle. And this is one of his secrets. It was a man who has, that has cultivated the attitude of gratitude, attitude of time. Remember various deliverances. Remember the protection of God. 
Remember the same path you passed through. Some people went through that, they didn't return. Be grateful. Be grateful. The strength in your body. You are healthy. You are strong. You may not have all the money according to you, but God has ever been faithful, has always been faithful in everything that concerns you and I. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. You may not be yet where you want to be, but you are not where you used to be. Give thanks to the Lord for it.